Hey, what's going on, Alex? My name's Kyle with Millsap Digital Marketing. I wanted to reach out and make you a video that bring you and your business some value. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can personally optimize your website to drive in more traffic that will generate business leads for you. I have three tips that I want to share with you. My first tip is content and keywords. Now, what Google cares about is not how awesome your website looks, but what kind of content is on your page. Google, they typically want to see a lot of content, and the websites with the most content are going to be the ones with the most authority on the topic. Google wants to give its users the best experience possible by ensuring it has everything that they need. So I recommend that you have at least 1,500 words on your home page. And it's important to have that much content because you also need buyer intent keywords inside of that content. And what I mean by buyer intent keywords, I mean it's what people are searching for in the Google search bar. So I have a tool called AREFs, and AREFs buys data from Google. Uh, it is a paid tool, and one of the features that allows us to, to search for these buyer intent keywords. So I saw you were located in, in Goodyear, so I, I looked up Landscape Goodyear. These are just a couple examples of keywords that should be inside of your um, content on your website it's like landscape design Goodyear Arizona you have 30 people are looking for landscaping rock in Goodyear Arizona 40 people are searching that a month so keywords like that I mean you offer a wide variety of uh, services so you could go in and you could find those keywords for each and one of those services and make a page based on those keywords so when Google scans your page they can find you for it another thing you can do with these keywords is making sure that you save your images properly. You know, so instead of Garden EH, I would save this as Landscape Goodyear. So when, you know, cuz Google scans photos as well and they'll see what your photos are saved as. So that's very important. So my next tip for you is going to be backlinks. Backlinks are links throughout the web that when clicked on will bring the user back to your website. Backlinks are very important. It's essentially having a popularity contest, and the ones with the most backlinks is going to win. Google's looking at other sites that are pointing at you and vouching for you, saying, hey, they're actually a really trustworthy website. They offer a great service. But not all backlinks are created equal, though. Google, they want to see backlinks that are relevant to you, such as other landscaping websites or other home improvement websites that has links linking back to your website. Uh, they don't want to see backlinks coming from, say, Pizza Hut. Well, you're not a food company. So we also use Ares to see what's going on behind the scenes. And I do want to mention there are free tools out there for you to use. If you just Google backlink checker or keyword finder, you can find the free tools that you need to be able to do this yourself. So as of right now, your website, this is the URL rating. This is how powerful the website is. This is the domain rating, and this is how trustworthy your website is. Um, it also shows us the organic traffic per month, how many buyer intent keywords are, you're being found for. Um, your, this is your the referring domains, and that's how what websites are backlinking to your website. So I, I, I googled uh, landscaping Goodyear, and... Lawn Starter is in the number one position in the organic search, and this isn't even their home page. This is a, a, a location page. So they built a page specifically for Goodyear landscaping. So when people search for landscaping in Goodyear, this is what comes up. So I looked up at this results here. See, he has a URL rating of 16. That's his power. Domain rating is 74. That's the trust factor. But you, however, you want these two numbers as close together as possible. You want to shoot for a ratio of one. Now, each month he has 40 people coming onto his site or get through an organic search, and that's just Goodyear. That doesn't include, you know, the other areas like Tulsa or Lynchfield that he probably has location pages for that as well. Now, he has four referring domains, giving him a total of five backlinks. Now, you can get these backlinks. If they're good enough to rank into the top, they're good enough to get you to the top as well. So you can go in and you can get the exact same backlinks as they have. You just go into the referring domains. And each one of these websites here has a link linking people back to his website. So all you do is that just go into these websites. Some, you'll just have to create a profile and you can add your website in that way. Other websites, you're going to have to 
go to the contact us and email the owner and they might hit you back with a small fee to be able to advertise on their website. Now my last tip for you is, is to get to the number one spot in the Google Map Pack. In my opinion, it's it's the best spot to be in. If you're anything like me and you're trying to find a service that you've never used before, you're going to most likely use Google to search for it. So say I'm new to Goodyear and I'm looking for a landscaping company, I'm going to type in landscaping Goodyear, Arizona. This is going to be the very first thing that pops up. I'm going to see Albright Fencing and Landscape Materials. You know, they have 105 reviews, you know, given four stars, which seems pretty good. You know, I'm, I'm going to end up most likely calling one of these companies out to bid on my job first. So how do you get to this number one spot? Well, you need to have more citations than that they have. And what a citation is, is your business name, your business address, and your business phone number listed in more directories um, throughout the internet than your competition. So some examples of a directory would be white pages, yellow pages, better business bureau, even uh, social media is considered a directory nowadays. So I hope this was helpful. You know, just a quick recap, you can blow your competition out of the water just by getting more content on your home page with those buyer intent keywords. You can get all the backlinks your competition has and get them linking back to you. And finally, add your business name, your business address, and your business phone number all spelled the same all across the internet in more directories than your competition has. If you follow these three steps, you will generate more leads for your business. Uh, if you're, so you're probably wondering what you can do now. Well, I hope you take this information I gave you, and I hope you apply it. I totally encourage you to do that. If you do have any questions for us or if you need any sort of help, you're more than welcome to reach out to us. Our phone number is 480-605-0508. Thanks for watching, Alex.